Hello guys, today I'm going to share with you a quick workflow on how you can transfer the topology from one base mesh into a high resolution mesh. Here I have uh, a dwarf, a character that I'm working, currently working, and as you can see, it has a high resolution mesh, and I grab this head that will come as a primitive on the upcoming version of Nomad, the currency of Mastella is a known user, and I transfer it into my high resolution mesh as you can see here uh, this head uh, up until now doesn't have UVs but I make the UV unwrapping, UV unwrapping and I talk to Steph the developer of Nomad and he agreed to put this version uh, UV unwrapped on the upcoming version but anyway we'll make this head available for download in the link in the description of the video okay guys let's just adjust some settings before we start or reprojection the let's go to the shading tab and change the shading mode to id it will give uh, each object a random color as you can see here but as you can see the mesh doesn't have any feature doesn't have any shadows and any highlights so to correct that let's turn on post processing and check if ambient occlusion is on Okay, now you can see the features of our mesh. The second step is uh, you need to go to the mesh that will be reprojected. In this case, this mesh. Go to the material tab and turn the wireframe option on. So the wireframe will be shown at all times. Here you can go uh, in the in this bottom menu that has the wireframe option here if you press and hold you can change the wireframe color uh, the white color is uh, the brighter the color the easy the process is okay I just set it to too white let's turn off the wireframe as you can see the the mesh that we set the wireframe on will be on at all times and the last step is change the material to blending and change the opacity to zero Now we are just able to see the wireframe. The last step is to place our head on top of our desired high resolution mesh. Let me change here, move the origin. Now they're both are on the world center. And now we'll move the head and try to match it the size roughly. Now the next step is to, with the move tool, let's try to match the features of our base mesh to our high resolution mesh. So I'll move a little bit the eyes, I try to match the nose. Uh, you don't need to be exact at this time, just roughly at the same place. Don't forget to always cycle your view so you can move it with more precision now the mouth let's match the corner of the mouth let's put closer to the mesh okay you don't need to to touch it right now uh, uh, the reprojection will do this job for us as you can see here this area is the hole of the nostril so I'll try to match it too I'll try to bring a little bit up the nostril. I'll try. Uh, a good tip is in areas that you 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 know that we will need more geometry. Uh, as an example, this nasal labial fold here. I will use the pinch tool to pinch more geometry into that area. Okay. I accidentally selected. The high resolution mesh I selected again by touching the the base mesh and now I will do my first reprojection to that I will go to the geometry tab on the misc tab find the reproject vertex option my high resolution mesh is currently the first object in the top of my scene hierarchy so with the base mesh selected, I will go 
and do a first reprojection. My settings is that is this that are on the screen now. You just copy it and we will be good to go. Okay. Now I will do my first reprojection. Okay. You see that in a lot of uh, a lot of areas the the mesh uh, got a little messed up. So I will go with this move tool, try to rearrange the mesh, try to fix it when the mesh got messed up. And now with a little bit more precision, try to match with the move tool the topology from the base mesh into the high resolution mesh. Okay. Okay, let's me try to match it. In the ears is a area that we have a lot of problems. Okay. Move to Try to match it. You can use all your sculpting tools to try to get the mesh that you are going to project as closer as possible into the mesh that are being projected on. So as you can see here, we use the crease tool to create again this, this crease behind the ear. Okay, as you can see here. Try to match a little bit better. I see that the got a little messed up back here. Okay. Nice. Now let's do another reprojection. Okay. And you repeat that process until you have a good result. Okay. I smooth it. I move a little bit. Yeah, as you see. This area is the, the corner of the eye. Okay. Okay, guys, as you can see here, uh, the this area of the topology, I think, is the, the corner of the eye and is misplaced here. I will, with the big move brush, try to match it a little bit better. Okay. Okay, let's move and project again. Let's move. This area inside the eye socket, we always become mess messy when you reproject so it is good to always smooth after you reproject your your mesh uh, the same thing with the hole of the nose and here i can see that this is the corner of the mouth and it's in the wrong position let me place it better Okay, guys, now that we have a pretty decent result, we need to up a little bit the resolution of the base mesh so the reprojection can get a little bit more detail. So I subdivide it one time and I will reproject again. As you can see, the mesh is a little bit more wrapped around the high resolution mesh. These areas around the eyes and the hole of the nose always will become messy when you reproject. So you just use the smooth tool and smooth a little bit 
that they will be good to go. Okay. So as you can see, it's a pretty decent result. I will do it again. I will subdivide one more time, go to the mix tab and reproject one more time. Now again, I will fix the eye socket and I will fix the hole of the nose. Okay, and that's it. Now let me hide the high resolution mesh and turn off the, change the material to opaque and turn off the wireframe. As you can see here, now we have the topology of the base mesh reprojected on our high resolution mesh with UVs. So it will uh, make possible uh, to you to paint this and export the texture. I will show the UV mapping here. Okay. And it will open a whole lot of possibilities for texturing and detailing the head. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.